Hey, what's up, guys? In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to easily rig your model with, like, no work, okay? And to start this off, I just want to say, no, this is not an April Fool's joke, okay? I'm recording this on April 1st, if you see it in, like, the bottom right corner. I think that's right, sorry. Yeah, bottom right corner. Uh, this will probably go up on April 1st, but it's not an April Fool's joke, I promise. You just, just got to take my word on it, man. But... I'm going to be showing you how to rig your models, like any kind of humanoid model that you have. And right now I just have this like base mesh uh, human model for simplicity's sake. But you can basically do anything, really. <coughs> any kind of like model that follows this structure, like uh, anything that has like wrists, a chin, uh, knees and stuff. Anything that has those you can rig. So the way we're going to do this, or rig well first I'm going to show you what rigging is, or tell you what rigging is. It's basically how you pose characters in 3D uh, applications. So, it's basically how you would animate them and just picture them as like literal bones, right? So, you'd have like a bone right here, and then it would come up, and then it attach to another bone right here, and then it'd like come down, and then come down, and come down, and it basically, you would, excuse me, you would basically anchor it to all the uh points so like you'd have a bone right here that might be for your forearm then you have like hand bones and finger bones and then once you parent everything get everything set up you'll be able to like move individual fingers and stuff and that's how you animate a character uh but rigging it can take a lot of time depending on your character and how much you want to move it and uh sometimes if you just download the character online you can't like rig it yourself because uh, the person who made the character like may not have the geometry set up right. So I'm just going to show you a quick and easy way to uh, rig your characters no matter what character it is. <coughs> so the way we're going to do this is using a program called, or not program, a website called Mixamo. It's by Adobe. Um, it's basically just a character site. And <coughs> uh, you need an Adobe ID to use it, but... Adobe IDs are free. You don't have to buy anything. It's just, just setting up an account. So if we go to Mixamo.com and we load Mixamo, I'm already signed in, but uh, well, actually, I'm logged out due to inactivity. So if I just log in and sign in, it'll bring me to this. Basically, once the site loads and stuff. You'll be able to, this is the character that I rigged last night. It's Habana from Rainbow Six Siege, if you know that game. But uh, basically, what you have is you have all these characters that other people created and rigged. And you can use uh, these and just download them. Uh, they're already pre-rigged, animated, ready. And just download them and select the file type. And once you have the character, you can wait for the textures to load and stuff. And then you have all these animations and you can search for them and stuff. Uh, but... Yeah, that that's it. But we're not we're not worried about that right now. We want to upload our character. So to rig your character, to auto rig your character, you just wanna upload character and then it'll say to upload your character, drag and drop your 3D file, uh then say like FBX, OBJ and zip. Uh these are the only three that work. So I have an OBJ file for that human mesh that I was showing you. So if I just go on my desktop and uh look up base mesh. Where is it? What's it? It's called Final Base. If I just go Final Base Mesh. <coughs> That's what it's called. And it'll upload your file. Depending on your internet speed. Mine's like tremendously slow. We're getting fiber soon, I think. I think. But, uh. It'll upload your character. It might take a little bit, depending on your internet speed. But. Or if file type. File size. Stuff like that. Just up you're just uploading it so once it uploads it'll process your character and it'll take about like 30 to 40 seconds sometimes like slower or faster depending on what kind of character you have so i'll be back once it processes all right so i'm back uh characters processed as you can see uh right now it's basically uh just telling you if it's not facing forward like this then uh it, uh, to make sure it's facing forward like this. And it says, for best results, have your character in a T-pose and fingers spread apart. You don't necessarily have to do that because it'll work 90%, 99% of the time, even without it. But just make sure that he's not, like, arms side by side and, like, feet together and stuff. Make sure he's just kind of spread apart like this. 
and this is pretty much a TiVo's anyway, so it's like, you know, it's it's okay. And then uh, if you click next, you have this place markers on your model, and what this uh, is basically saying is you can place the model up. This is how you're gonna basically tell the auto rigger where everything is. So on chin, just drag it up and place it where your chin is. Then on wrists, drag it to where the wrists are. Elbows to where your elbows are. Knees, obviously to where your knees are. And then groin, where his groin is. Okay, so now once you have all your markers placed, if you click next, it'll, auto, it'll auto rig it. And this can take up to two minutes depending on the model. So I'll be back once it's rigged. All right, guys, so I'm back. And as you can see, our character is rigged this is the screen that you'll get and it's basically telling you to make sure that all the movements are right and stuff and it is he's moving like pretty cool uh there's no like clipping or any weird movements in it he's just looking around stuff uh then if we click confirm he'll be over here and then our character is rigged now uh if you want to have a pre-made animation you should just select one of these and then download it but i don't want him to have uh, any more animations so I'm just going to click download and format FBX pose pose. I'm just going to click original pose. Uh, you can uh, you can select any of these. I'm just going to go with FBX. And so it'll just download your character once this done is done. So download your character. I'm just going to show a folder. And I have it on the other screen. And then if I delete this, and I drag this in. Oops, I can't drag in this version, I guess. Okay, so I'm just gonna import my FBX file and it's in downloads final base mesh.fbx. If we open it, it's pretty small, so you can just like scale it up a little bit. Then we have uh, all these things, which is which is which is what we want. We want uh want it to be uh this. So as you see, uh, there are some uh, little thingies that aren't like uh, that aren't you know like basically uh, they're, 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 they're not supposed to be there so basically I am going to go to edit mode select this one delete the bone right there and now if I'm correct and we go in a wireframe view yeah so you can see uh, this is what our character looks like and uh, if you select this uh, armor or armature right here and then go into pose mode, you can like select a bone and then if we like rotate it and stuff, we can see that our character is moving and stuff. Uh, you can like grab his like head and move it, like pose his legs a little bit. Oops, you see I'm not trying to pose him right now, but... Oh, by the way, I'm in wireframe mode just so I can see the bones. You don't have to be in wireframe mode, but I don't understand why you wouldn't be. Because it's like, uh, you know, it's way easier to see the bones. But yeah, that's that's basically how you rig a character. Um, so uh, you can animate with this by adding keyframes to the bone movements and stuff. But uh, that's basically it, guys. Uh, you can pretty much do any kind of character with it as long as it's like in at least a humanoid shape. It has like wrists, knees, chin, groin, everything like that. As long as it has that, you should be able to do it. Uh, some characters, if like the geometry is like off, then it might not work. But as far as I know, every character I've tested so far has worked. So uh, if you guys have any issues, then make sure to leave it in the comments below. I'll try to help you out as much as I can. Thanks for watching the tutorial, guys. My name is Viz. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.